Glory be to God. Thank God for another week. I want to thank all of you that were here last week during our prayers. And I know that God has been doing tremendous miracles in our lives. So we thank God again for life. This evening, I want to welcome all of you that are online right now. As you know, I want you, those of you that will want to connect us, you can go to our website www.sendme.org.uk or you can go on Facebook. We stream live on Facebook every Wednesday by 8 o'clock GMT every Thursday. Or go to our prayer line number it's one seven one two four three two three one zero zero and our access code is seven six eight three five five. Also you can email us by prayer pray with me at sendme.org.uk. That is our email. Praise the Lord. Now can we pray? Father, we thank you this evening. We give you glory and praise. We worship and adore you, the everlasting God, the God of the whole universe, who was and is and is to come. The God who made all things, who created all things, both the visible and the invisible. We worship and adore you. The ancient of days who has been from the beginning of the beginnings. You have no end. We thank you God. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. This evening we are going to be praying specifically for all of you that are going through some stressful time. We know that this is a time that people are confused. This is a time that people don't even know which way to go. This is a time that bills are piled up and people don't know how to go about it but we thank God for Jesus the Bible said that all those that put their trust in the Lord shall never be ashamed in fact I believe that God is simply teaching you or teaching us how to trust him the more because the, the more we look at the world and look at the economic of the world we see that it is crumbling down every day. People are getting more disappointed because of the news and because of what is happening. So, but today, those of you, the Bible says that those that know their God shall be strong and do exploit. So, this is the time of exploit. It's not time to sit down and grumble. It's not time... For you to sit down and regret what is happening in your life. It is time to get up and do exploit. Hallelujah to Jesus. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you Lord. Because you are God. Huh. I wanted to go to the book of Psalms 110. We are going to be praying from there. From verse 1. The Bible said... The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou at the right at my right hand until I make thy enemies thy footstool. The Lord shall send the rod of thy strength out of Zion. Rule thou in the midst of thy enemies. 
verse 3, the, Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power, in the beauties of holiness, from the womb of the morning, thou hast the dew of thy youth. The Lord hath sworn and will not repent. Thou art priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. Verse 5. The Lord at thy right hand shall strike through kings in the day of his wrath. He shall judge among the hidden. He shall fill the places with the dead bodies. He shall wound the head heads over many countries. He shall drink of the brook in the way. Therefore shall he lift up the head. Hallelujah. Now, the Lord has promised us through our Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible is simply telling us here that the Lord shall send the rod of thy strength. It's talking about Jesus. Out of Zion, rule thou in the midst of thy enemies. It's a commandment that God is giving to his people. To the Lord and his people. He said, rule thou. Rule in the midst of your enemies. Right today, we know that we have many enemies. We have enemies coming through finance. We have enemies coming through health. We have enemies coming through families. We have enemies coming through offices. We have enemies coming through many areas of our life. But the instruction here is that you shall rule in the midst of your enemies. Therefore, this evening we're going to be praying. We're going to be commanding that all our enemies shall bow under our feet. I don't care what that is, but you are going to hold on to the word of God. You're going to agree with the spirit of God. We're going to agree with the faith that overcometh the world. You are going to agree. The Bible said, rule thou in the midst of your enemies. I want you to open your mouth now and begin to pray that I will be a ruler even in the midst of adversity, even in the midst of darkness where everybody, where most people are confused, where most people are walking in darkness, are grouping in darkness because they don't know which way to go. We are going to be rulers in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. This is our prayer time. I want you to open your mouth and begin to pray that you will rule in the midst of adversity, in the midst of we're in the midst of confusion, in the midst of people getting depressed and suppressed. The Bible says, rule, rule is the commandment, rule in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Almighty God, we begin to claim, we begin to agree with the Spirit of God. We begin to hold the Word of God. We begin to climb on our position and we begin to rule. The Bible says rule in the midst of our enemies. I begin to rule over finances. I begin to rule over health. I begin to rule over our enemies. Every enemy is of God surrounding us to suppress and depress us to make to to to, to make our lives miserable o makane zurate nibala rigado brenidu gezono belita rabede no keyonde subralita ranche to imbre no skindo sla limpa do venes on to braleto rabe kindo sibranan into ze mayula we demand even this day that will take our position will destroy every thrones that are set up against our thrones every thrones that has been fighting against our throne we dethrone you every throne of iniquity we dethrone you in the name of Jesus we command that we take over because the spirit of the Lord say rule down in the midst of our enemies we are taking dominion 
We are taking up our dominion in Benazule to Maragu de Zona, Ego Zibrale to Vanagusea, in Pasute Nurida, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. I wanted to go to verse 3. The Bible said, The people shall be willing in the day of thy power, in the beauties of holiness. I want to tell you that you cannot live holy without power. I know that there is a beauty, an outstanding beauty, that is called the beauty of holiness. Not the beauty of your cloth or the beauty of how you look or the beauty of your pointed nose or the pressed nose or whatever you can call it. I'm telling you that there is a beauty that follows holiness. But this thing cannot happen except you have power. So we're going to demand that power to live holy so that we can get into that realm of beauty where everybody will want to associate with you. People will love you without no, they don't know why they are favoring you. They don't know why they are loving you, but they continue to love you out of their way. They continue to favor you out of their way. They will disfavor themselves. They will discomfort themselves to make sure that you are comfortable. But something has to happen. You have to have power to live this holiness. To live in holiness. To live a holy life. We're going to pray. We're going to pray. I want you to open your mouth and begin to ask the Lord, Father, I need power. I need power. I need power. Is it is a right? Because the Bible said, as many that believe in his name, he gave power power to become the sons of God. That power is available today. That power is in the kingdom, is in the house, is available for you, is within your reach. So I wanted to ask the Lord, Father, let me have this power. Let this power come upon me. Let this power come upon my family. Let this power come upon me that I may be able to live holy. Power to live holy. Power to live holy. Power to be holy. Oh, Jesus commanded in his word, in the book of First Peter, I said, Be you holy, for I am holy. In the book of Peter, I wanted to pray. I wanted to pray, Lord, I need this power. I need this power. I need this power. I need this power. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Mighty God, let your power be bestowed upon us. The power to live holy life. The power to live holy, oh God. We need to live holy in order to be beautiful. In order to get into the realm of beauty. That beauty of holiness. That beauty of holiness. Mighty God, we ask for this power. In the Moselu Branaka. Power to live holy. In the Magrenos Gedave no Loke rebando bra ingo venos kindo regandre ma inko to zengreni lubrene vato inski praya regado venota inga surabane power to live holy we need this power we need this power but you know, i wanted to pray i wanted to pray all who that on phone i wanted to open your mouth and pray open your mouth and pray because you need this power to live holy you need this power you cannot live holy you cannot assess that beauty of holiness without living holy and therefore you cannot assess this holiness without power there is a power that comes from an eye that is only a power that can put you to holiness power that can take you to this realm of holiness where things happen in brezutenica le praveni on say in the name of jesus christ of nazareth amen amen hallelujah the bible said the people shall be willing in this day of power Oh yes, we're going to be praying anything that have destroyed my willingness to serve God, my willingness to move ahead, my willingness to take over, my willingness to subdue my enemy, my willingness, anything that have taken it away from me today 
shall receive judgment of God in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in the day of this power, in the day of his power, that people shall be willing. People shall be willingly. They will be willing to serve God. Do huh? you know why many people are not serving God today? Because there is no willingness. There is no zeal. There is no, there is no eagerness because nothing is happening. They want to see, they want to know that this power is available and they will be willing to serve God. I want you to pray, I want you to pray, I want you to pray. Destroy everything that have destroyed their willingness. Oh, dethrone them this afternoon in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray. Lugevato ma in prasute nigaya. Ribatombre in gedono zekraya. Lunchte ba alfe no zupranaka. Redigi dunikon de impata. Lubrante infecto zaptena. Lunto mahinga sikato. Imperida subrante in kute ze angre lotuma riba no openika in the name of Jesus Christ Amen Amen Hallelujah Hallelujah Thank you Jesus The Bible spoke about the right hand of God in verse 5 it said the Lord at their right hand shall strike through kings in the day of his wrath. The right hand of God is the hand of power. Of course, we know that God, like we will say that we have a right and a left hand. No, every hand of God is the right hand of God. Every hand of God is the right hand because it is a righteous hand because it is a hand that emits power. It is hand of power. I call it hand of power. Power, when God touches anything, it changes. Uh, anything goes according to his will and purpose. And today, he has made us to understand that the expectations of the righteous shall be granted. Ha! Oh, when God comes in, he makes the wrong right. He puts those things that the enemy has set on a wrong motion, has set on a wrong mood, has set on a wrong road, he will put it right. Because my God is a right God. The hand, the right hand of God is the hand of power. And tonight is coming with that hand. To destroy every hands of the wicked. So I want you to hold on. I want you to begin to pray. Say, Lord, let your right hand fall on my situation. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let your right hand fall on my circumstances. Fall on my situation. Rest on my family. Rest on my family case. Rest on my family case right now. Oh, I don't care what your family is going through. Maybe they are going through a chaotic time. A time that everybody wants to separate. A time that have no peace. But right now there is a God of power. A God of right. A God that has the right to change every situation. That has the right to turn things around. I wanted to I want you to cry unto God right now. Say, Lord, rest your right hand upon my situation right now. Let your right hand be upon my situation. Let your right hand be upon my family. Let your right hand be upon my case. I don't know. I, I have a witness that somebody is having a case in the court. A case that has that, that is almost taking him into prison. But right now, there is a God who avenges. Somebody is trying to put an allegation on you and set you up in prison. But God is setting up a plan for you right now. He's resting his hand upon that case. Oh yes, whomever the Son of Man sets free is free indeed. You are coming out of that case in the name of Jesus Christ. Hey, let God rest his right hand upon my situation, upon your situation, upon that case, upon that family case. Hey, Banote Kura Zeneta Luka, in the no 
Zubekate no Zeye, Ruma de Inkoba na Zikra, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we give you glory. We give you glory because of your holiness. We thank you, Lord, because as the morning, if we go back to verse 3, the Bible mentioned, it said, the people shall be willing in the day of their power in the beauty of his holiness from the womb of the morning. Brethren, I want to tell you that the morning has womb. <laughs> hey, and that is why we are praying this moment. And I will encourage you to also wake up in the early mornings to, in, to make the morning pregnant. Hey, to make the morning pregnant because it has a womb. When you speak, when you begin to pray, when you begin to call upon the Lord, when you begin to command, the Bible says, command you me in the works of my hand. That is the Lord speaking. He said, command you me. When you command the mornings, when you command the mornings, you make the mornings pregnant. And by the day, oh, it will bring forth that which you have put inside it. If there is no thing that you deposit in that womb of the morning, you shall not get anything through the day. It will be confusion all true. Right now, we're going to be demanding that our morning be pregnant. Pregnant of goodness. Pregnant of mercy. Pregnant of faithfulness. Pregnant of righteousness. Pregnant of holiness. Pregnant of riches. Ha. Oh, the Bible says, I wish that you prosper even as your soul prospereth. We're going to be speaking to this morning. We're going to be making the morning pregnant. Say, I make you pregnant this day. This hour, I command you to take in so that in the day, I say in the day, in the day, as the day breaks forth, the favor of God will follow you. Things will begin to happen in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Venti in palo zigrento mabrante lo breaki da zute vinota in the name. Of Jesus Christ Lord we thank you again we give you glory because of how you have dealt with us we thank you for your name for your name is above every other name thank you mighty God for you alone is God we give you glory and we give you praise in Jesus mighty name we pray amen 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 now, I want you to listen to this. I want you to just listen to these few words that I'm going to say before I close this session this week. In that very verse 3, I want to explain a few things to us. When the Bible said, Thy people shall be willing in the day of God's power, in the beauty of holiness from the womb of the morning. Thou hast the dew of thy youth. The dew of thy youth simply is still talking about the strength because we know what we know youth to be is we associate the youth with strength. Willingness, strength. Now, the Bible mentioned about the womb of the morning. May I tell you that the mornings has womb. You know, from the book of Genesis, the Bible mentioned that during the early hours of the morning, he said, God, or the dew of the evening, God will come to visit Adam and Eve. There is a symbol, there is a sign about 
the money. When the wicked people want to perform their wickedness, they don't come out during the day. They go and program it early in the morning. They will begin to speak. It's just through words. They call it incantation, enchantment. They will begin to enchant. During the early hours of the morning. And when you come out in the morning, after you have slept, you wake up and you find yourself in trouble. Because they have positioned your morning in a wrong way. They have made your morning miserable and dangerous for you. When you are sleeping, sometimes you even see yourself in the dream, they will begin to pursue you, trying to stab and kill you. Because something is happening in the early hours of the morning. But I want you to take note of this so that you will change your pattern. Change your pattern of prayer. Change your pattern of communicating with God. Increase it because the wickedness is increasing in their wickedness. So you have to take charge. You have to ask God for this strength that comes from Him alone. The strength that God mentioned here, the dew of thy youth. I want you to mention that unto God. Say, Lord, I want this dew of thy youth. That dew of thy youth means empowerment. It means strength. So that you'll be able to get up in the early mornings and make your morning pregnant. Talk to your morning. Tell your morning what you want your morning to bring forth to you. You open your mouth and begin to make that womb, the womb of the morning. You begin to make it pregnant. You begin to speak goodness of the Lord. You begin to speak mercies into it. You begin to speak favor. You begin to speak grace so that nothing will stop you from moving forward during the day. What happens in the day takes place in the morning. In the book of Job, the Bible said that Bible. He said he said that he said that trouble does not sprout from the ground, so it must come from somewhere, brethren. So this morning or this day, I want you to take an aggressive move. Take a violent move towards your praying time and that will help you and help your family in the name of Jesus Christ remember the womb of the morning always make this womb pregnant it means that when it has womb it has the ability to be pregnant and it has the ability to travel to give birth when you make your morning pregnant during the days, that pregnancy will be born. It's not, you know, when I talk the womb, it's not the kind of womb that the woman has. No, it's a different womb that can only come through speaking of the word, through praying, through praying, through, through commanding the things. Oh, you know, Joshua. Was a wise man he did something one day when the enemies were trying to overcome them he said no commanded the son that the son will stand still until all his enemies are destroyed and the son obeyed him so to tell you that this morning I'm talking about has the ability to either destroy you or make you if you learn how to wake up and make your money pregnant, you will see a difference in your life from today. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you glory because of your mighty glory. Your great light has shined 
and we will follow this light. You say we are the light of the world. Father, cause us to shine at all times. As we continue to dwell in your presence, as we continue to move in your world, Father, let your grace continue to expand in our lives. We give you glory. We give you thanks. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you again. God bless you. Before I close this session, I want you to know that our website is there. I've mentioned it before, but I'm going to repeat myself. Again, the website is www.sendme.org.uk Or you can go to Facebook page or Twitter. you see us every Thursday 8, streaming live. By 8 o'clock, American time, 2 o'clock, 2 p.m. 2 8 o'clock London time that is when we stream praise the Lord so and our prayer line number is 1712-432-3100 access code you can call 768-355 or you can email us through pray with me at sendme.org.uk and God will continue to bless you. And God will continue to protect you in this time as we wait upon the Lord. Thank you. Thank you.